As you all know, this is an ID, an intelligent descender. Uh, the most common thing we do with this is that we uh, upside down to our workplace. Uh, in Sprat, uh, you need to know how to both descend, go down, and how to ascend with it. So to descend is quite easy. You always keep it in a locked position when your hand is not uh, on your uh, uh, brake rope here. So like this, now it could work, da la la. But as soon as I want to go somewhere and I want to unlock this thing, then I need to have a hand on this rope. So go down, quite easy. Lock it off when you let go of the rope. Now, in order to ascend, hand ascender, put your foot, foot tape, and then you want to climb up. The way to do it. You want to pull this rope up. So instead of holding your hand like this, when you go down, you change direction. Now I got my hand here, so I open up the ID, and one hand on the hand ascender, and the other one pull up the rope towards the anchor, like this. One, two, still got a hand on the braking rope, up with the back up, one, Two, on the back, lock it up, and then, if you want to go down again, remove your hand ascender, put the foot cord inside, so you don't uh, entangle yourself, put it on the side, make sure you, you keep good rope management, and then, when you go down, small functional check, yep, it works, and then you go down. One common thing, a mistake that people do when they want to get up, they put on hand ascender, that's good. But then, when they start to go, go up, they start to stand up first, and then they try to pull in all different kinds of direction. And that can't be done, because the teeth back in the ID will catch the rope. So, the way to climb is not like leaving yourself back, and pull it in strange direction, you need to do it simultaneously. So, at the same time as you're standing up, you need to pull this rope towards the anchor. One, two, and get off. And when you go down, remove everything, like this. Make sure you don't entangle yourself. Good rope management, a functional test, and then you go.